today, I've got a model set up here to kind of explain what a watershed is, how it relates to stormwater runoff, and how stormwater runoff can affect our local freshwater bodies. If we think about this as this whole square is a watershed, so these outside boundaries that you guys see, these would be topographic divides, or in other words, it'd be high points in the land. When it rains, anything that falls within this square is going to flow into these fresh water bodies that you see here. When we think about that on a stormwater level, the stuff that we put out on our lawns and on our roads and impervious surfaces every day, that stuff's gonna get washed off the surface and into these water bodies here and eventually out into the lakes. So in our area, if you think of this as the Clinton River, which eventually is gonna dump into Lake St. Clair that you see here. So I've got a few things here that I can show you guys examples of different stormwater pollutants that can have an effect on our local water bodies. In Michigan, we have very harsh winters and we use a lot of road salt. So I've got some salt here. So we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt on our roads here. And then also, especially in this area, being as developed as we are of a watershed, a lot of our homes have fertilizer and things like that on their lawns. So we're gonna put a little bit of that along here, just over and around. So say that represents the fertilizer on the lawns. And then also, Another pollutant that can come about a lot, especially in agricultural areas, or in our case with a lot of construction, is sediment. Sediment can cause a lot of issues in waterways. It can clog up the rivers. It can reduce fish habitat, stuff like that. And then one more would be coming from these vehicles, storm drains don't have any filtration before they enter into our rivers and lakes. So if there's any oil on the roads at all, or cigarette butts or anything like that, that can have an effect on our water quality as well. So we've got everything on the land, just like it would be in real life. And I'm gonna take this water bottle, and I'm gonna simulate what happens when it rains. And hopefully, if it has the effect, we will see what happens when it rains on some of our surfaces here. So if you think about this as rain, as it's coming down, it's washing everything off these impervious surfaces. You can really see it right there, the red that's moving along there. And as it's washing down, you can see that it's getting into these water bodies. You can see it right there, that red. And even the fertilizer. When it rains, if you have excess fertilizer on your lawn, it runs off into these local water bodies. Okay, you see all that salt is moving. And everything eventually, once it's in here, you can see here it's spilling out into the lake. You can think of that as Lake St. Clair. You can see this continuous flow into Lake St. Clair. And both rivers now are colored. So that's a general example of what happens when you have contaminants and stuff on your impervious surfaces or even on your lawns and things like that when it rains within a watershed. Because anything that falls on any part of this, once again, eventually is gonna lead into these rivers and then lead into the lake itself. We're gonna pull this little plug and we're gonna see underneath that colored water, that polluted water refilling the groundwater aquifers. Mm -hmm. 